actually the best examples of these partnerships that have worked are in uh, semiconductors in the computer industry. The Semiconductor Research Corporation and the Semitech Collaborative uh, both had amazing success in uh, making important advances that are credited with you know, saving the U.S. semiconductor industry and are now not just that focused but address international problems, uh, working especially on pre-commercial research and they have, a, have had great success with identifying the problems that need effort and the things that are going to benefit all partners. And we haven't been able to match that kind of success in energy. Although there was a great deal of success with uh, a natural gas program, the Gas Research Institute, and they had great success with taking what was a very marginal out there technology of uh, coal bed methane and other unconventional sources of natural gas, which through their efforts uh, are now at least or about half of the uh, gas production in the United States. So those kind of efforts, uh, which are really, it's not a set formula for how it's success, but that they match the problem at hand are the ways that you should model the collaborations we're going to take in uh, energy to get uh, lower carbon and better energy and more secure energy. After I uh, got out of the Navy, I taught uh, high school physics for about a year. And I really developed a sense of science as a policy area in addition to science as a research area itself. And when I went back to graduate school, I was in a public policy program and focused on science policy and all types of science policy, both in education and uh, energy. But it really turned out to me that the most interesting areas are in uh, biology and medicine and in energy and environment. And since my background was in energy and physics, uh, that's the major uh, area that I thought would, I could do the best with. The submarine is a you know operating nuclear power plant in addition to uh, its other the warship functions, and so there's a couple of things I took from that. I think about energy technology very much as an operator or sort of an you know, operating engineer rather than a, the kind of engineer that designs. I think, and I think I have that approach of how is it going to be operated by the people who do it. Uh, and second, a large part of my ideas about uh, in all types of industry are sort of an organizational management uh, point of view and that's my management experience. It's sort of it's not necessarily generalizable it's more like learning from a unique and extreme situation but the managing things in the Navy was sort of what set me up to think about organizations and businesses. And uh, third one of my assignments was the new construction of the USS Seawolf and on that uh, assignment, we tested and supervised and inspected the ship as it was being built by the civilian contractor. And so as far as a technology development project, it wasn't some new technology, it was more a great advance in existing technologies. That was the result of a lot of small changes. And the experience, I think, is that it took not only the design and engineering but also the construction and craftsmanship and the inspection and testing. It's really not just R&D budgets that bring a technology or an improvement around. It's all of these different working together within organizations that make this happen. I think that in the stages that we're sort of entering the future now, uh, what we keep looking at is how we can have renewable or alternative or lower carbon energy compete with uh, conventional energies. And I think that as we move forward, it will become obvious that uh, those newer energies are uh, great improvements in some cases. And we'll move forward to the point where we'll be looking at what types of 
new improvements in renewable or alternative energies can compete with the existing uh, level kinds of renewable and alternative energy so that we'll having not whether we're fighting against carbon but whether we're getting the best performance that meets the needs for a particular energy from each different type of new or renewable energy.